Welcome to the demonstration for the data-centric security mobile application and policy enforcement point for Testbed 16. The purpose behind this app is to demonstrate the capability for providing support to uh, emergency responders and when there is uh, limited comms available. So to have that, we will have an offline cache of uh, feature data that uh, is accessible by QField, which is a GIS client for the Android mobile phone. In <clears throat> what you're seeing on the screen is the uh, offline cache creation tool. This tool allows you to create uh, feature sets uh, of feature layers that can be used by the GIS application. In this case, I am showing that you can fetch features from a geo server, specify a key management server, specify what the classification level is of the, the data set, specify what encryption strength you want of the data set, um, and then go ahead and fetch. I'm not going to do this because this takes a lot of time uh, to, to, to do. So at this time, we are going to uh, show just the fetching of the stuff from the geo server without the key management server. So if we uh, set it up for that, we can see that we are just fetching and we don't specify security clearance and all that other stuff in this case because we're not using a, a KMS server in this case. So if I click on the fetch feature class, it fetches rather quickly. And we can go to the policy enforcement point where we have a bunch of defined sets and for example, this testbed 16 set that we just defined is listed here. Um, to support the emergency response scenario, you can have various roles and these roles would have access to different sets. Uh, in the military police role, we have these files. In the military responder, we have these files. In uh, civilian responder, we have these files. Uh, that are available. Let's start with the uh, military responder. If I start the web service, switch over to my uh, GIS application, go in here to the uh, DCS app, you'll see we have a couple of things. I could fetch, but I also want to show the, the fact that this changes if you change um, what is selected on the um, policy enforcement point. So if we stop the server, we come back over here, select that military police, start the, the server, and then go back over to the GIS application, go into the DCS tab. You'll see now we have all three files there. If I select these files and then click on the fetch layers. It will fetch the layers for that file. So what that did, if we look at the files in the cell phone under the GIS directory, we'll see that a new directory was created with a um, kind of a GUID. It's, it's just a temporary location. It stores the project and the other files in there. At this point, I would show the um, reading of these files into the queued field application, but I have a bug in the um, project file here that I dynamically created. So I will show instead the uh, a prepared one that I, I prepared in QGIS itself. Uh, the project file is valid and thus it uh, displays correctly. So if we go to 
our GIS application. And we select a project and go to internal project, GIS, uh, QGIS files, and the project. It will then uh, load that project uh, and display the results. Um, and as you can see, we have uh, landmarks and our points of interest on the roads that we have touched. And we can see that the results were fetched and displayed inside of the GIS application. So that is essentially what we have developed in Test Grade 16. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thank you very much.